And well, today the Minnesota Supreme Court upheld the state's permit to carry law. The court ruled that the state's gun law requiring gun owners to carry a permit when carrying a gun in public does not violate Second Amendment rights and is constitutional. The ruling comes after a man was convicted of carrying a gun without a permit and he tried to appeal his gross misdemeanor. New tonight, Camaria Bray spoke with people on both sides of this ruling. Camaria. Well, the Supreme Court decision has reintroduced the controversial topic of gun laws and gun safety that continues to have mixed responses. The Minnesota Supreme Court stands by the state law that says if you carry a gun in public, you need a permit. The Supreme Court, in their writing of the opinion, really severely underestimated just how burdensome it is to, uh, to go through that process. Rob Doerr, the political director for the Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus, says getting a permit involves a background check, a class from a state certified instructor, and a physical shooting course. He says the total can be hundreds of dollars and can be a barrier for some gun owners. If you are legally own, uh, allowed to own that firearm, uh, we don't think that there's any uh, efficacy to putting that barrier of entry of needing to get the government's permission to carry it out in public. Rashmi Sonavarefna, executive director for Protect Minnesota, a gun violence prevention group, has a different opinion on the court's decision. I, I think they're 100% right. There is a vested interest in our community to ensure that those who are carrying are doing safely, right? Um, and uh, it's it helps police because you know they're aware of the person that has the gun and who has the gun and how it can be hurt them if they respond to a situation. It helps community members. Between 2019 and 2020, those getting a permit rose by 88%. There's been a big explosion, and I, I think uh, the, the uh, that's a, a mix of the civil unrest that we've seen uh, here in the metro area. And uh, I, I'm a permit to carry instructor as well, and I have seen a huge number of increase, particularly among uh, women and ethnic minorities uh, who, are, who have been expressing an interest in their self-defense. Senator Refta says if that's the reason people are purchasing guns and permits, Permits, then they should be extra safe about their firearm. Are we as a society ensuring that gun owners, like especially new gun owners, understand safe storage? Um, you know, you'll see a lot of people who have guns just, you know, in their pocket or in the back of their pants, and that's no way safe. Um, there are a lot of cases of people leaving guns in their glove compartments. Um, and again, that's not safe. That's not proper storage. Kamari Bray, KTTC News.